take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Horodrum. Lift lever! Up comes the chest, out comes a crossbow that maybe the scoundrel could use. We'll have to see. Let's head down here and get me some defiled bones. Uh, so, as I had mentioned before, there is the new dueling aspect to the game. I have done a little bit of it um, with Buttercrust, actually. Uh, while we were leveling our characters together, we were like, hey, you want to try it out? And he was like, sure. Uh, we were going with just our regular builds, the, what we were doing in uh, the game. Uh, the PvE builds, I guess you could say. And to be honest, it was pretty even. You know, I might have had a couple more wins. I don't remember. He might have had a couple more wins. It, it At the end of it, it felt like it was coming down to skill, though, definitely. Uh, but then... We decided, well, okay, let's change our build to something that would actually be uh, something that would be closer to a PvP build. So he changed his uh, he changed his character over to a PvP build. I changed mine over, and he wiped the floor with me. There was literally nothing I could do to kill him. I think no, I did kill him once. I got lucky. Uh, and I was able to, Look, to kill more him once. Footprints. Yeah, thank you. He just randomly do that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, he was by far kicking my ass almost all the time. So when Diablo says there are balance issues, they're they're absolutely right. And when it came to arena, hey, we see an overseer here with the fallen. That guy is new to this game was not in Diablo 2, and here we have found a... Oh, what the heck are those up? Is this two-handed? It is. That is for the scoundrel. Um, those foul cultists have come this way. The bodies of innocents are strewn across the sands. We must make them pay! Level 1, we that sounds will. even better. Ready your weapon, brother. And I don't think I've been in this one before. Uh, these... The Sirocco Caverns. I've been in places that look like this, but... I don't think I was been in this one in particular. Where the hell did that thing come from? Jeez. Uh, the dueling, uh, I, I fully understand what they mean by balance issues. Uh, Buttercross, by the way, is a witch doctor, and he had one move that was called Hex that there was pretty much nothing I could do with. Uh, it turned me into a pig, and it didn't matter what moves I had, I couldn't do any of them once he had hexed me. Um, so I would just sit there for like three, four seconds, and he would start doing all his high-level abilities, and that was pretty much it for me. Um, I might be able to survive with maybe like 10% of my health, but then, you know, one more hit before I can heal or uh, hit him to heal, and I was pretty much screwed. So that was definitely an issue and probably why they canceled. Um, the arena like they did and it is unfortunate that they canceled it but to be honest if if it was going to be geared towards one or two of the classes and then they would have to change all the um, all the pve builds in order to match that i don't know exactly how that would work i would i would hope that they would figure out a way to get that to work but uh you know maybe ban a couple abilities because that was the only one that was really seemingly unfair to me because there was nothing I could do to counter it. Whereas, you know, my ground stomp, which stuns the enemy, which is pretty much what I wanted, um, the witch doctor has moved to get out of that. Um, he pretty much leaves a soul behind, so anything I attack then becomes a soul, and then once I defeat that, then I can see the witch doctor again. It reminds me of uh, Team Fortress 2's faint, uh, faint death. That's how it kind of came across. So he could get out of stun moves and all that kind of stuff, and I could not. So in terms of one versus one, you know, my barbarian really couldn't do anything there, against his witch doctor. <laughs> so that's my opinion on why they would have gotten rid of it. Stuff like that. Obviously, I can't speak to any other we have done it. any other classes or how they were doing. Uh, all we did was 
you know, my barbarian versus his witch doctor. And it was like, holy crap. And he's like, you don't have anything to escape from that? And I was like, no. And he's like, oh, well then there you go. <laughs> so that was, that was my experience with the dueling. If that, it was terrible. I mean, so I don't know how they could have maybe countered that. Maybe, you know, banned abilities or changed the abilities and how they worked in the arena in order to balance it out you know that's just some things that I thought of and if I could think of that you know off the top of my head that quickly surely they thought of it too let's head back the other way there's probably nothing that way so you might as well check it out now you would you would assume that they would be able to come up with something like that as well so once again I don't know I, I'm not in on all that kind of stuff uh, but actually there is a place where I could go, but well, we'll do that later. There is a secret bonus dungeon that is in this game that not a lot of people know about. Um, and I'll have to, to search for it off screen, and I'll probably do it on um, Hell or Inferno. Possibly Nightmare, but probably not. I'll probably be too high level. Hell, I'm too high level now uh, to go there. And here, oh, we do have a chest. No, Masterwork Spikes. That dungeon is in Act 1, so I have, you know, already gone by it, and it wasn't there. Uh, from what I understand, it is very rare for you to come across it, which is... Did he... Freaking Rockworm ate me! Do I not get a lore for the lo Rockworm? What the hell? That is definitely the first time that we have encountered that, and you're not giving me anything? What the hell is wrong with you? Ooh! Ah, nightmarish. God. I stun these guys just so I don't have to run away from them all the damn time. If they fear you, that's pretty much it. You're, you're running. Really? That's all you drop? It's a spear. Am I still on dual... dual... Oh, I'm on dual axes now. What happened to my size? I like the look of the size better. Oh, what are you gonna do? But the arena, if it's not balanced, you know, there's really no point in it. Um, if everybody, ha you know, has to be one of two, maybe three classes of of the five or six. was there five or six? five or six classes if they, if they only really have a choice between those and then there's certain builds that are clearly better than others then it just doesn't become that fun and I assume that's the problem that they encountered and the reason why they abandoned it I would hope that they wouldn't abandon it but they they have and I assume that's because those problems were too apparent they did say it was balance issues uh, but the the development hell is is the name of the bonus dungeon uh, it is in the cemetery and it, there's a very rare chance that you'll get there which is why i'm going to do it off screen you know i'll eventually find it i think but who knows um i'm, I'm going to try my ass off to find it uh it's in one of the defiled crypts from what i remember or it is one of the defiled crypts and you can find actually all the developers names in there including the guy who did step down uh, he was in charge of Diablo 3 his name was Jay Wilson um, you can say what you want about him I don't know what he was in charge of what he wasn't in charge of but overall I like this game so I do like Jay Wilson as well um, you know which aspects of this game I do like and which I don't and what he himself worked on and what decisions he made I, I couldn't tell you um, I, I did listen to the, the BlizzCon uh, little panel for him uh, when people asked all these questions about how the game was going to be and for the most part he was he was fairly accurate for that and that's something that I can't appreciate but a couple things he was um, a little inaccurate about it. But overall pretty good. He did step down. Oh, speaking of BlizzCon, they did just announce BlizzCon. Once again, coming back here. Woo! Down the street from me. I think I just... The last time I drove by the place where BlizzCon is, which is the Anaheim Convention Center. Oh, the is there somebody special in here, or are you just talking? 
He's just talking. Uh, just down the street. The last time I was drove by there, I think, was... There, a one day, form. like two, three days ago. Yeah, now they don't do as much damage to me. I don't... Down goes the nightmare. Well, whatever he was. What? Play. Oh. Apparently, I didn't kill him the first time. But oh my goodness, a double axe. Ugh. I'm I'm so used to nightmare difficulty now that I'm, that I'm disappointed with single drops. <laughs> the nightmare difficulty for something like that is like here's a yellow and two blues. Sweet. I will take it. But here's just one. I need to get used to that again. I will though. I will. Okay, so that is it for level one. Once again, I don't think I have fully explored this place. Uh, I might get an achievement for fully exploring a certain area. Should you and Linden bicker often? Why is that? Our motivations are complete contradictions of one another. I am driven by honor and the good of others. He is driven by greed and a calling that comes from below his waist. Ah, that's funny that the Templar should say that, considering. Dangerous. Either way, uh, he was talking about uh, the scoundrel there. I forgot what name they use for him. To be honest, I don't remember their names. Because it doesn't say here. If it said their name, it would help me a lot more. But, you know, they say it like two, three times the entire game over the course of, you know, however many hours it takes you to go through the game. And you hardly ever hear their name. It's hard to remember it that way. I think most people just know them as the Templar, the scoundrel, and the <coughs> enchantress. Did I give something away? I didn't mean to. Resplendent chest! Holy crap, I will take on that. What do you want me to say? That was pretty obvious to me. Empower Trine! Very nice. And here is another yellow enemy. I will plague once again, so don't step where they are. Not too big of a problem. Down it goes. See, there we go. Health potion and two blues. I w that's that's good. I am happy with that. But when it's just the one thing, I'm not so happy. There we go. And take out the slime spewer. Down it goes. And now we have found our way out. Uh, what is this? Yeah, it's not that great. Well, it, well, it is, but you know, it doesn't really matter for me. What are we on here? Oh God. Okay, this is better than this. Clearly. Um, even though that gives me intelligence, which gives me a little bit of protection, that's not nearly as good as what I was getting, uh, which is uh, more damage. Which still heals me, for the record. And, no, no. Okay. Out of here. We still got quite some work to do glitching. Uh, <laughs> Hooray, lag is back somewhat. Look. More hidden footprints. Uh, this will lead us to the next uh, dungeon where they are hanging out. Right, let's step out of the fire. These guys are doing quite a bit of damage to me. This Act 2 is definitely when it picks up in difficulty once again. Like I said before, it's a curve and it just keeps on getting harder and harder until the end. Act 1 is very, very easy. A lot of RPGs, they, they have kind of a point relatively early on where things are difficult and and that's the most difficult that they're going to be this the game ancients have blessed me this game doesn't work that way i would say that it the hardest things are at the end which is a way that i like it okay level up we got a new room for that new room for that those are both things that i use so i probably will put both of those on in seismic slam don't use that anymore okay cleave uh, generate additional fury, or they explode. Now nah, we'll, you know, we'll do something useful, I guess. <laughs> I know, horrible for me to say that I'm not going to make them explode anymore. Seismic slam. We can now add a chance to stun the enemies. I'm gonna stick with the hammer. Ground stomp, wrenching smash. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, room for ground stop, at least that I've encountered yet. I haven't gotten this one yet. No. Wrenching Smash. It pulls them towards me, plus it has a wider area of effect. This is why I have it all just normally on all the time. 
because it'll pull him towards me, and then I can revenge my way to victory all the time. Okay, so two new runes already. Things are going well, and we have a treasure goblin. Always nice Look, to see one of you. Um, unfortunately, right, you can't stun this guy. He is immune to it. Oh, great. No. Damn it. I hate when I target somebody else. Oh, shit. Oh, that's going to be it. He's going to get away. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, I stopped him. I stopped him. I didn't think I could do that. Okay. Now we have to kill everything else. Templar is going to die, probably. Now they stun and got pulled towards me. You might have seen that a little bit there. That is what I'm used to. Templar is dead. Let's go for that. Chantra's still alive, though. Need more time. Okay. There we go. No, no, no. No. There we go. Templar's back. That That's what it looks like when he's back out. I, I didn't even see him when he was on the ground, but he was on the ground there. Okay. So, that, that worked out pretty well, considering... What happened? Kill. Nope. Die. Look, more hidden footprints. Oh, thank you. I never could have figured that out without your help, Enchantress. That it was going that way. Oh, God. Templar got wiped out there. <laughs> Don't get hit by those. I can't emphasize it enough. So it looks like we're going to actually encounter the, uh, the dungeon here pretty soon. That's fine. I'll go to it uh, because we're we're not this done here. This is one here. of the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. We're not done here in the Howling Plateau, so we might as well go inside the hidden conclave. Die, painmongers! They still take some time. So now, whenever I get the ritual uh, is disrupted. Now, whenever I get the revenge, I will automatically. Uh, use ground stomp just at just before it like I kind of have but now it actually makes sense why I'm doing that not just to stun in place and there. hold them there to dispel the coven's magic but I can Let actually go to the bridge but I can actually bring them in and then get they, revenge they tortured my poor husband I'm sorry we will avenge him sure I owe you my life bless you I am always blessed And I just proved it to you right there. So powerful. Once again, you don't have to destroy all this. You should get this, though. Look at him burn. Vata. This hero means to attack you in Alcanus. If I were you, I would set a trap at the Kasim outpost. But I am not you. For all I know, you wish to fail me again and force me to kill you. That would grieve me. And somehow, I think I could manage it. Tell me, what shall you do when Magda is dead? The Lords of Hell, Belial and Asmodan, plan to invade this world. I will crush their forces and cleave their skulls asunder. How curious. You must be the one I was meant to find here. What? What are you talking about, Enchantress? So, we need to go back to the Can Black Canyon Bridge. Well, we technically haven't been there before. You could go there, and it will it would have showed that you couldn't move forward due to the illusion. Let's head in here. There's an event in here, if I remember correctly. Frightened girl! Please help me. An illusion. As you might expect. Stu- Oh, God, I love that combo. Love that. Need more time. Oh shit. What are you guys you guys are plagued? Damn, you hit hard for plague. Damn. I was almost dead there. What the hell? I almost had to use a potion. We are getting the third level of health potions now. I should probably switch over to lessers one of these days. I'll get to it, but you yeah, know. It's not necessary. I'm not healing that often right now. It's not critical. Uh, oh, I don't think that's... A, yeah, it's not an actual event as much as it is something that happens to get you experience, which I will gra gladly do. It doesn't give you the bonus experience for completing it, though. Just bonus uh, experience by what you kill. 
But that's good enough for me. Now you can follow the road if you want. Uh, that will take you to the bridge. Really? Falling? Special? I'm sick of these wallets, to be honest with you. Uh, this is one of those things that just does nothing to, to hold me back. Of course, they come up with better specials that only get unlocked in the higher difficulties. Uh, nightmarish, wallers, jailers, you know, stuff to stop you. That's what they do this time uh, and to make you run away. But later on, they, they got some good stuff. Stuff that actually makes these people something that are to be feared. Whereas here, yeah, you know, they're a little bit more powerful. And they have an ability that stops you from attacking them a lot. And that's pretty much it. Oh god, so, so powerful. Too much? Possibly, but we are as... As Belial called us, we are the hero. What that means is a little beyond me right now. They haven't really said it, obviously. Well, obviously we're the protagonist, therefore we're the hero, but you know what what being the hero actually means in the plot, they haven't really disclosed. 